Um, Rick, did you guys try ozone? I know you mentioned a couple, uh, you know, you mentioned potassium permanganate and some different things. Sounds like Marshall wants to know uh, specifically if you tried ozone. No, we did not. Uh, our objective was number one, to use less chemicals in our treatment plant because a lot of people are adverse to all the chemicals that you add to make water clear, which I am one of those people. Um, ozone would not necessarily be cost effective for us, plus the equipment we would have to put in. And not only that, if I retired in five years, someone's gonna have to keep up the maintenance on all of that equipment. Uh, but what I was looking at was, here's a technology that says they can do the same thing for me uh, with minimal maintenance. And also the fact that it's, it pretty much runs itself. It's uh, uh, got the solar panels that keep everything going. It's monitored by an outside source, which is you guys, and the results I can see live on my computer at any point in time. And if there is any maintenance work that's done on it, you guys pick up on it, know specifically what the problem is and how to fix it. So the ease of operation was the big thing for me. The cost, uh, some people would say that the cost might be expensive, it might not be, but we're a town of 1,200 people. And uh, the council wants to make sure that whatever we purchase is going to work and enough confidence. I had enough confidence in you guys to know that the technology would work. And I would say probably in short order, any amount of money, which to me was not very much that we spent on this unit will be recouped in the extra water that we sell, plus the savings we have on the amount of chemicals that we're not using anymore. 